Shalom, and welcome to this message. They are avoiding you because they are so embarrassed of what they did. I repeat, they are avoiding you because they are so embarrassed of what they did. There's a strong energy of embarrassment and shame from this person. It appears that they are avoiding you because they are deeply ashamed of something they did or said. In your absence, whatever it was, they feel like they have let you down or disappointed you in some way and they are struggling to face you because of it. I know this may be difficult for you to hear, but it's important to understand that this person's behavior is not a reflection of your worth or value as a person. They may be dealing with their own internal struggles and emotions, and they may not know how to process them in a healthy way. It's also possible that they are afraid of how you will react. If they come clean about what they did, they may fear that you will judge them harshly or reject them entirely, which can be a daunting prospect for anyone. But here's the thing. Avoiding this situation won't make it go away. If this person truly cares about you, they will eventually need to face the music and take responsibility for their actions. And when they do, it will be up to you to decide how you want to respond. Meanwhile, try not to take their behavior personally. Instead, focus on taking care of yourself and your own emotional well-being. Reach out to friends and loved ones who can support you during this difficult time. And don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Most of all, ask God to show you the correct direction to take this matter. If this message finds you, remember you are not alone in this. God has a way of working things out in the end, and sometimes that means facing uncomfortable truths and taking difficult steps. Have faith that you will come out of this stronger and more resilient than ever before. Dear God, we come to you today with a heavy heart, feeling alone and abandoned by some people around us. It seems as if they are avoiding us and we have done nothing wrong. We pray that you would soften their hearts towards us and help us to reconcile any differences that may have caused this separation. We also pray for your blessings. We know that you are a God of abundance and that you want to bless your children. Please help us to receive your blessings and to be a good steward of all that you give us. We pray that you would pour out your blessings upon us in abundance, both spiritually and materially. We trust in your goodness and your faithfulness. We know that you will never leave us nor forsake us and that you are always with us. We pray that you would help us see your hand at work in our lives, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. Thank you for hearing our prayer, for we pray this, trusting and believing. Amen. Repeat the following affirmations. Affirm. I release the need for approval from others and trust in my own self-worth. My financial goals are achievable and within my reach. Peace be with you.